Are you serious? $400 to be told to basically starve yourself and eat the same thing every day for 16 weeks. Buddy, you suck. You suck. And that isn't even the worst part. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Cole Hastings and if you're trying to evolve your body and mind through a plant-based diet as well as personal development topics, then consider subscribing. Today is something that I haven't really ever done before and that's kind of critiquing other people in the fitness industry right now, trying to sell you absolute crap online. This is just pissing me off so much because I see so many people getting scammed by these big fitness influencers because they have such a big audience, the demand for their stuff is so high and people are gonna buy it no matter what because they look good, so obviously they must be good at training other people, but that is almost never the case. So this is probably the angriest you're ever gonna see me. This smiling face right here will probably go to a frown quite a bit of times in this video. So I'm gonna just get into the people that I wanna go over and what you actually need to avoid. So yeah, just stick around for the whole video. Let's get into these crappy people. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna start off with Bradley Martin. If you don't know him, he's this absolutely ripped dude. He has like a million or something subscribers on YouTube, a huge following on Instagram, on everything. He's very famous for the types of videos he puts out with like him lifting girls. So yeah, he's super strong, but he is in fact on steroids. That's the first red flag that you uh, wanna be looking at. If you are gonna get trained by someone who's on steroids, they don't need to do nearly as much output or the same stuff as a natural does. When you're on steroids, yes, you have to still train to get big, but it's, it's just not the same type of workouts. They can basically do whatever the hell they want in the gym and they're still gonna get huge as long as they're pretty much eating decent. Whereas naturals have to put in a lot more work. So that's the, the first red flag. Let's go through his generic training programs. These are just ridiculous. Let's go through a few of these eBooks and these programs here. We got Lean Bulk 2.0. Let's click on this and see what is going on here. So what's offered in here, he promises a 15 week training program, three different training splits, increased strength, increased lean mass. So he's calling this a lean bulk, but He's just giving generic nutritional tips and advice. That is not gonna be fine for everyone. That's gonna work for like a very small, minute amount of people, this information that he's giving out. When you take on a new fitness program, you wanna make sure that this person has personalized the program to you because every different person is gonna have a different set of macros. The calories, carbs, fat, and protein is gonna be different for every person. So when people, big fitness people, are putting out shit like this that is supposed to work for everyone, when you try to make something that works for everyone, it works for no one. I'm not gonna spend $53 on this book, but I can just guess that he's just giving like very generic advice, like here's your macro split for $50. Like that is fucking ridiculous. So here's their logic. They're like, I can just put out one program for everybody, scam the shit out of them, and people are gonna still buy it because they trust me because I look big as hell and I have a lot of reputable things that I've done, but that doesn't matter with fitness guys, especially in the fitness influencer community. Like there's so many scams going on like this. All right, let's check out his his other stuff. Maybe he has some, some better stuff here. So we have BM Fit Every Day is Chest Day ebook. Let's see what this is about. So it's a detailed full body training program, how to break plateaus, build a bigger chest. You can literally do a Google search or a YouTube search on how to break plateaus, and I guarantee you you're gonna get better information than what's in this $44 ebook. Okay, so Bradley Martin, kind of a scam here with these programs. They're not gonna help you. Training clients should always be a one-on-one -on -one thing, and I'll go over that more later in the video when I'm explaining like what you should be looking for. Let's go to the boy Kai Green. Kai Green recently said he turned vegan and hats off to him. He's a really big fitness influencer and I'm happy that he's spreading veganism. Like I think that's really cool, but he's also trying to profit off of it right now, which is pretty fucked. And the ebook that he just released is, it's just ridiculous, man. Only five bucks, 
that's pretty good. And he's giving you information based on his research and experience with a vegan diet. This dude has been vegan for a few weeks. So if, if someone has just gone vegan, I don't think they're really qualified to already write an ebook. So he gives food recommendations, science behind it all, tips and tricks. But what really stood out to me was the photo that is included in the previews on this page. Let me zoom in a little bit here and look what this reads. Let me read off a little bit of this to you guys. He's trying to make some like, cool stranded island joke about veganism. I don't know, it didn't work. It really didn't work at all. And he said, the truth is that you do not need to be so dichotomous with your decision. There are great personal and ethical benefits to increasing vegetable, grain, and fruit intake. Still, you need not throw out the benefits of lean animal-based proteins. Together in a balanced approach, you can have the benefits of the modern world and the wisdom of the stranded island. This guy goes vegan, thinks he has enough research and uh, experience with veganism to make a whole ebook about it. And then he says in the vegan ebook, you can still eat lean animal protein and still get the be benefits of both. So by this writing here, it kind of sounds like he's just going vegan as a way to make money to to hop on the trend of veganism because it is trending right now, it's becoming more popular. And he's trying to make a quick buck out of it. The way that this sounds, it kind of sounds like eventually he's going to go back to eating meat or he already is eating meat like still and he just claimed that he was vegan. And uh, you know, he's using the compare at 19.99. Compare it with what? What are we comparing this with? Where is this ebook 19.99? It's only sold on this website. Put the slash through it, 4.99. Marketing tactic completed. On sale, on sale, on sale, on sale, on sale. Wow, they are literally all on sale. What a surprise, that's crazy. This must be a coincidence. You literally could not get more generic advice. 2,000 calories you eat through days one through five. 4,000 calories through days six and seven. Who is this going to work for? It's going to work for about this many people. Everybody needs different macros. These people put out these fucking programs and are just like, you know what? It's cool, I'm famous, I'm gonna sell my fit tea on Instagram. God damn it, all right. I'm, I'm done with this Kai Green guy. Uh, he's on steroids, by the way. They're both on steroids. That's just a huge red flag anyway. And now I'm gonna go on to probably the most interesting and amazing thing to have come up as I was doing research for this video. Okay, so by coincidence, as I was doing research for this video and I already planned to make this video, I got a DM from someone on Instagram asking me to take a look at this guy's meal plan and workout plan that he gave her. This was a vegan meal plan for 16 weeks. And keep in mind, this guy is not vegan. Here, actually, I'm gonna pull him up right now because I am gonna mention his name because I think what he's doing is complete and utter bullshit. Okay, so here we are with the guy. His name's Ryan Hoff. His at is Ryan Hoff underscore underscore underscore. He is not vegan and he offers vegan meal plans when he's not not even vegan. So this person who messaged me just said, hey, can you take a look at what he sent me? Because it looks really unhealthy. It looks like I'm not eating enough and it just doesn't make sense to me that this could ever work. So I said, okay. And at this point, I didn't even know who the guy was. I just wanted to take a look at the documents and see what this meal plan looked like. So let's head over to the meal plan right now. I have the Google Docs up. I'm uh, going to blur out the person's name or just asterisk out the person's name because she doesn't need to be mentioned, but get a load of this. This made me so pissed off when I saw it. This is what this guy wanted this girl to eat every single day, nothing else for 16 weeks. Right off the bat, that's absolutely ludicrous that this person wants them to eat the exact same thing every day for 16 weeks. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. Meal one, nine tablespoon of just egg, 30 grams oats. That this guy is sponsored by, and you'll see once we scroll down, he wants people to use his code, which is like kind of fine in fitness programs. Like if you want to redirect someone to a supplement, but just wait till you see how many supplements this guy recommended to this girl. A scoop of protein, nine grams of almond butter, and two rice cakes. Meal three, 190 grams black beans, white rice, and green vegetables. Meal four,
Cell Chem Scoop of Carnagen. What the fuck are these things? These are ridiculous supplements. Do not, don't, don't drink these supplements. What are they? Literally, this whole meal plan was a lot of protein, some eggs, some oats, and some green vegetables. Nothing else. And he wanted this girl to eat that every day for 16 weeks. I cannot say that enough. Oh my god, dude. This is, okay, first off, no, there's there's not enough calories or volume in any of these meals to be considered healthy. Number two, he didn't give her any macros whatsoever. There's no calories, carbs, fat, and protein. All he said was, here's the meals, eat these every single day for 16 weeks. That's it. And then there's some other guidelines. I don't want to go over all of them, but let's keep scrolling down. Supplements and internal health. This is where it gets really fucked. Simple supplements. Use code CUTS20 for 20% off. And look at all of these supplements he suggested this person take. What is going on here? Pre-cardio supplements? Lipokide? Carnian? Cell Chem? What? I, don't even, I don't even know what these are. Like, what it... What is going on? I'm not really gonna go over the training plan. It looks pretty in depth. And honestly, I don't, that's not even the highlight of this. It was really just the meal plan. The fact that this dude is not vegan and he thought he could do this. So now let's get into the, uh, the price of this plan. This girl paid $400 for this 16 week plan. And after that, it's an extra $50 each month. Are you serious? $400 to be told to basically starve yourself and eat the same thing every day for 16 weeks. Buddy, you suck. You suck. And that isn't even the worst part. I'm gonna go into my Instagram DMs right now. Let me show you guys what else this girl told me about this guy. She says, as a vegan, I eat a lot more, but obviously all healthy, unprocessed. He said that was all bad. Stop doing it. He told this girl to stop eating unprocessed, stop eating healthy and eat less healthy. I asked about healthy carbs and even showed him what I normally eat. He said, no way, stick to that plan every single day, same four meals for 16 weeks. Is that normal in fitness is what this person asked me. Fuck no, dude. I specially asked about nuts, seeds, fruits, fresh veggies, even raw all were bad. He said all raw foods were bad and you should be eating just egg, oats, carcinin, and crappy cell chem, whatever the f your plan is garbage. And it pisses me off that fitness influencers are taking advantage of people who trust them, who think that they're getting a good product and getting the right information for $400 and they're not. We're done with the ranting. Now I'm just gonna tell you what exactly you should be looking for in a fitness program. So to start off, don't buy programs from people who are on steroids. Like I said, these people don't have the same knowledge. They don't require the same things as us naturals do. Unless you're, would you wanna be on steroids, then maybe buy a customized program from them, but nothing else. Number two, never any generic eBooks or stuff like that. You want a fully customized meal plan or workout plan that is specifically tailored to you. Don't give in to these big fitness dudes who are just huge because they're huge and selling generic products that aren't going to produce results for basically anybody. Number three, you might want to ask around a bit and see this person's testimonials, like how they're doing, how other people are doing on their plans, get the word of mouth information, like DM some people maybe that they've trained and see if they're actually legit. And number three, I offer cheap meal plans and workout plans on my, oh, I'm a sellout. No, I'm just kidding. No, but actually I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, personalized vegan meal plans and personalized workout plans. That's the only thing I will ever offer is personalized plans where I'm actually working with a client asking them the right questions and giving them exactly what they need for their specific goals. So yeah, if you want to check out my plans, it's seasontofu.com forward slash shop. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a big thumbs up for me. It helps out the channel and it'll help to expose these crappy programs and these crappy people. Thank you for sticking around till the end. I hope you enjoyed my rant because <laughs> I need to uh, get a glass of water and just cool down for a little bit. Okay, thank you guys. I'm heading out. Peace.